good morning students i am shrikant lecturer in botany today i'm going to i'm going to start online classes in botany for mcq and neat purpose so first of all i'm going to start second year botany for learning purpose so if you observe the second year botany so it contains six units which contains six units so first unit is plant physiology second unit is microbiology and third unit is genetics and fourth unit is molecular biology and fifth unit is biotechnology and sixth unit is plants microbes in human welfare so total number of units are six and with 14 chapters with 14 chapters are there in six units so if you have the first unit unit 1 plant physiology which contains six chapters which contain six chapters and the second unit is microbiology which contain two chapters which contain two chapters and the third unit is genetics which contain only one chapter okay so and the fourth unit is molecular biology this also contain only one chapter okay and uh, the fifth unit is biotechnology which contain two chapters okay so last unit is plants microbes in human welfare which contain two chapters the total number of chapters in the beta six units so in in this six in mcq and neat purposes the most important topics are plant physiology and genetics plants and microbes in human welfare these three are most important in MCQ and NEET purposes as well as in IP purposes. So, today onwards, we are going to start second year botany uh, chapter wise and unit wise. So, totally, we are discussing about second year botany today onwards. Okay. So, first of all, if we see the brief discussion of second year botany syllabus, so plant physiology. The first unit is transportation in plants. Transport in plants. And the second unit is mineral nutrition. Mineral nutrition. The third unit is enzymes. The fourth unit is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis in plants. Photosynthesis in plants. Fifth unit is respiration in plants. Respiration in plants. The last unit is plants and plants growth regulates. Plant growth regulates. So this is about first unit syllabus. So first unit plant is here to transport. So in this transportation of plants, we have to discuss about so how the minerals, water, food materials are transporting throughout the plant body, we have to discuss in transportation in plants. So in this xylem and coim as well as transpiration as well as some of the experiments also there in transportation in plants. And second one is mineral nutrition. Here we have to discuss about essential elements and non-essential elements. So, which are useful to the plants and the third one is enzymes the enzymes also play major role in plants in plants uh, uh, different type of regulators and different type of growth purposes uh, the enzymes also play major role in plant metabolic activities and photosynthesis we all, we all know the about uh, photosynthesis process which is very useful for food preparing and also as well as oxygen releasing in plants so, so in photosynthesis process, we have to discuss about C3 cycle and C4 cycle as well as electron transport and uh, as well as uh, uh, different type of uh, experiments also there in photosynthesis. So, that is about photosynthesis in respiration. In respiration, so we will discuss about uh, uh, Krebs cycle and as well as uh, glycolysis and as well as uh, uh, RQ, so different type of uh, 
so experience also there in dissipation. So electron transport, so and uh, uh, different type of uh, uh, some of the uh, scientists are also there in dissipation. We have to discuss about scientists also in dissipation. So plant growth regulators. Here the plant growth regulators. Some of the phytohormones also there in plants very useful to the plant uh, metabolic activities and growth and uh, different type of developments in plants. They play major role in plants. So such type of uh, chemical substances are called as the regulators. So those are called as the plant growth regulators. So second one is microbiology second unit. In second unit, we have to discuss about bacteria, virus. Bacteria, virus. So these two chapters are there in microbiology. In bacteria, so in bacteria chapter, we will discuss about types of bacteria, types of nutrition in bacteria, and types of reproductions in bacteria. So, useful bacteria as well as harmful bacteria so are there in bacteria chapter. And the virus chapter, we will discuss about types of viruses and the replication of viruses and the cycles, lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle, so as well as the uh, harmful viruses. So, these are the topics in viruses. So, genetics. Principles of inheritance. This is a chapter presently. Principles, principles of inheritance. This is a chapter present in genetics. This is a third unit. So in this, we have to discuss about uh, mental principles. There are three mental principles are there: law of dominance. Law of segregation, law of independent assessment. So, by the using the experiments, so we have to show the mental laws by the evidence. So, such principles are called as principles of inheritance. So, in this uh, chapter, we also discuss about uh, uh, law of dominance by the using the monohybrid class uh, and the law of segregation by the using the monohybrid class. Uh, and the law of independent assessment by using the dihybrid class. So here, monohybrid class, dihybrid class, and uh, test class, and incomplete dominance and poor dominance are the topics present in genetics. So molecular biology, which contain only one chapter, molecular basis of inheritance. Molecular basis of inheritance. Molecular basis of inheritance is the chapter present in molecular biology. So, in this chapter, we will discuss about structure of DNA as well as structure of RNA. At the same time, in this chapter, we will discuss about one more excellent topic, central dogma of molecular biology. What is meant by central dogma of molecular biology means here, replication Transcription, translation, these three processes are combined together called as the central dogma of molecular biology. So, how the replication process takes place? How the translation or trans transcription process takes place? And how the translation process takes place? This total process are we have to, we will discuss in molecular biology topic. So, last one biotechnology. So biotechnology is a recent branch. Okay. So, uh, in this topic, uh, we have to discuss. Uh, we shall. We will discuss about the R DNA technology process. R DNA technology process. So in this uh, unit, uh, which contain two chapters. So first one is process and principles of DNA biotechnology. Second one is applications of biotechnology. So first one, process of principles. So, how the RDNA technology takes place? How the scientists are doing the RDNA technology? This is a process present in the first chapter in biotechnology. So, what are the uses of RDNA process? What are the uses of biotechnology process? So, these are the applications. What are the applications are present in 
biotechnology. So, uh, this is the second chapter in biotechnology. So, last one, natural medical treatment method. So, uh, this is a very easy and uh, we all know how the plants are useful, how the microbes are useful in human welfare. So, which contain two chapters. So, useful plants, first chapter, and useful microbes in second chapter. In first chapter, we have to discuss about plant breeding in tissue culture. In second chapter, we have to discuss about how the biogas preparation takes place, how the, how the bio fertilizers are preparing. Okay, so how the, how the bio pesticides are preparing? Okay, so what are the useful microorganisms are there? What are their applications? What are their products? But totally, we will discuss in you know four, sorry, in six uh, uh, plants and microbes in human uh, This is about totally second year botany brief discussion of view of syllabus. So by this today onwards. We will discuss about chapter-wise second year what. So first, 